they were performing CPR and trying to, you know, help him stay alive. But we sort of knew that it wasn't going to work. And then we went to the emergency room and they tried some more, but they couldn't save him. This is Cooper. He was just the sweetest, most kind, loving kid you could ever imagine. Cooper was like a, a like a, an adult in a kid's costume. And he just was very sophisticated in as far as his sense of humor. And um, he loved basketball. He worshiped the Knicks. Basketball was like the thing that he just loved so much. And they crossed the street in front of our apartment and a taxi driver made a left turn and my husband was hit. He wasn't, he didn't die. And paramedics try, were trying to resuscitate Cooper. He was lying in the middle of the road. I wasn't even allowed to get near him, which really hurts. Um, and they were performing CPR and trying to, you know, help him stay alive. But we sort of knew that it wasn't going to work. And then we went to the emergency room and they tried some more, but they couldn't save him. We really need to get the word out on a national level. And because people really need to understand, you know, the devastation of this and how many people are killed in our country every day and how, how unsafe our country is.